And I get a great opportunity just to talk to you about why I came to this brown building about 10 years ago. I, being a proper Southern belle, followed all the steps. I found a man, had a great job, and then you find a church home to celebrate all the blessing that God had given you. But as life is wont to do, there was a pivot and all I was left with was this amazing building. And so I found myself pouring myself here. Um, joined consistory and spent countless hours looking at spreadsheets I didn't understand, talking about the deep-seated issues that live in this house, helping people find whole, wholeness and healing. And then I started looking at how do I fund this thing that I call home, this church that I proudly proclaimed, and I realized that I was half-stepping. I spent more on brunch than I did on benevolence. I tipped waiters more than I did this ministry and started looking at, Darren, what can you do with what you have to align your bank statement with the role that God has called you to play in the world? Um, so I started shifting things. Anyone knows me, I enjoy a wonderful Kettle One martini. <laughs> so baby steps, I now just drink absolute martinis and, <laughs> and that difference goes towards funding here. I still enjoy brunch because I know that that's what God has called me to do. <laughs> But I make sure that when I sign up for recurring, that debit matches what I tip someone I don't know. So I encourage all of you, just think about things in your life that drive you, things that you call your passions, your pleasures, and see if it aligns with the passion that's here. See if it aligns with the dreams that these amazing leaders just spoke about. She's raised $200 to help clean up the ocean we're wearing shoes that, call, that exceed that. So be mindful, not a guilt trip, but it's a reality check. It's time for us to level up and fund this ministry with the same passion we fund our lives. I'll be up here later to help you join the movement with all that God has given you, your body, your mind, and yes, that amazing debit card. <laughs> so sign up for recurring. If you need help, I'm more than happy to help you give and feed this ministry. You're gonna have a chance right now with these tacky green bags to give. <laughs> Hell, fund that, better bags. <laughs> so the ushers are gonna come, we're gonna hear some amazing music. Give liberally, giving it should be a joy. It's not a druther, it's a joy. So give liberally and generously.